Tennessee and Praise and Harmony TV. It's karaoke. He gave up his life. Oh, such a price, and he's more than a friend to me. Listen to me. song in concert we go we would change uh, we go more than a friend more, than a friend, more. that was some of our advanced oh, choreography that was it yeah. that was the choreography See, you, uh, you can, and back then you know you, 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 you people you can't dance no no there's be no dancing no. but we will we will do the choreography that's right, that's we will right. do the mm -hmm. choreography yes so one of one of my favorite memories that I have of you has nothing to do with singing or, or acapella. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it, it has to do with a, a time in my life when I was a, a college student. Uh, so, so shout out to York College. I went to York College for yeah. many years and good I transferred place, out place. and transferred to Lipscomb University. Also a good place. When I got to, got to Lipscomb, I became friends with your daughter, Melissa. Yes. And uh, so around this time, you were picking a new amalgamation of, of acapella. So for some reason, I was just... I was just kind of hanging out and and seeing what was happening. You were people were singing and kind of auditioning. I was just enjoying watching that and enjoying spending time with you and Sharon and amalgamation. And, and amalgamation. Yeah, Is that's it? that's a new thing. That's a real thing. Okay, that's right. yeah. Was that and on the poster? That's uh, that new was on the po new amalgamation. That's good. I like that. The the message is instrumental, but the music isn't. Do <laughs> 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 you remember that? So um, the. Uh, the so time, the yeah. yeah. So, so you're picking this new acapella group, and I'm hanging out with you. And and a couple of times during this process, you would you would look over and go, "Come on, let's go, let's go." And we would just sneak out the door. <laughs> Everyone was just hanging out inside, and we'd sneak out and you, "Let's go, let's go get some hot nows." And I looked at you and I was like, "What? Let's go get some hot nows? What does that mean?" And you, "Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's get some hot nows." So we get in the car. We'd drive over to Krispy Kreme Donuts, and you'd buy donuts for all the guys. Yeah. But you didn't call them Krispy Kremes. You called them Hot Nows. Mm -hmm. So we'd, we'd go through and get and get Krispy Kremes and bring them back. And every oh, thank you. You know, I can't believe it. And and I, I, I look back on that. I'm like, if my if my younger self knew that I would be going to get Krispy Kreme donuts, Hot Nows. With Keith Lancaster in the middle of him choosing uh, guys to, to sing in the group, I, I'd have wigged out, man. I'd have, I'd have had I'd passed out. They'd have to do CPR to revive me and get me back. Uh, and, and unbelievably, it was some of the most fun times uh, of that of that time of my life. It was it was amazing. And you just have a way of um, singing with and and coaching those guys. I just I, a lot of how I deal with people, to be honest with you, comes from watching you deal with those guys. My dad was very influential. When the group was based in Paris, Tennessee, my hometown, which I loved growing up in Paris, Tennessee, mm. that's where the that's where acapella headquartered for a while. Yeah. And uh, my dad was so funny. I miss him so mm. much. And he, he would say, but we knew what he meant. He had these uh, descriptions of things. Okay. And we knew what he meant. And he, he said, go, you know, we would be singing. He'd say, go get the boys some Frisbees. What he meant was a Dairy Queen blizzard. Blizzard. <laughs> he said, "Go get us some frisbees." Okay. <laughs> Frisbee so, blizzard. So, yeah. So you anyway. carried that on perfectly. Oh, yeah. It was, well, it was no, wonderful. I think, that, that, I think frisbee is better. Than, uh, I know. Well, I want to let you know that I don't call them Krispy Kreme donuts in my family. I call them hot nows. Yeah, yeah. My children know that when we're going to get hot nows, we're going to get Krispy Kreme donuts. So, <laughs> I think we should do this. You think we should get some? What? There's one up here. I think there is one up here. I think we well, should get go. some. Let's, let's go. go. Let's Are do we... it. Okay. I think I see the hot now sign oh. on. 
It's a hot. Oh. The hot now sign Frisbees is are hot now. Here we <laughs> I can't believe this. This is such a oh, trip down boy, memory oh, lane. Boy. The hot now sign is uh, on. I wish you could see this. It is. It is on now. Do and you have we a are... limit of how many you can eat? <clears throat> I mean, only one box at a time. What? <laughs> <laughs> this is only one not, or two dozen. Two dozen <laughs> at a time. At yes, hello. Two dozen. Hi. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm really excited about this right now. I love, uh, I love some hot nows. You know what I mean? So this Hi. is going to be great. What is your name? Alexis. Alexis. I'm Sean, and I'm here with Keith, and we're going to get some donuts this morning, okay? All right. Okay, let's do two dozen Hot now glazed. How many dozen? Two dozen, please. All right. Anything else for you? Um, I believe that is it. All right. That we play one eighty-three. Thank you. Did you hear about the um, nudist Buddhist? <laughs> <laughs> I did not. <laughs> the nudist Buddhist practices yoga bear. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> dad joke alert. Dad joke. Dad jokes. You're killing it with yeah, the dad jokes. I bet you got some dad I jokes. I do. I have some yeah. dad jokes. Yeah. Right? All right. Here we go. Dad jokes. Dad I, joke. I like your dad joke. Here's my dad joke. Okay. How much does a roof cost? How much does a roof cost? Yeah. I have no idea. Keith, nothing. It's on the house. <laughs> 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 that was so cheesy. Yeah, I like the cheesy. Cheesier the better. Oh, the How cheesier about the better. Hey, did you hear about the uh, invisible man? He went to the doctor's office. The reception said, uh, Doctor, there's a man here who says he's invisible. The doctor says, Tell him I can't see you right now. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm not supposed to be laughing at these, but they're just so corny I can't help but laugh at them. Oh, man. That's awesome. The other patient went to the doctor. The patient was in bad shape. The doctor said, you only have 10 to live. He, what? What? 10, 10 months? 10 weeks? 10 days? 9, 8, <laughs> 7, 6. <laughs> hey. 2183? Oh okay, 2183. Oh you got... Boy. You got, I don't have my wallet with me. Do you have 2183? Mm -hmm. You don't have your wallet with you? Right 2183? What's that over there? I don't... What? I don't... We're what? just going to have to go. Just go. I don't know what we what can... Do you do? What are you doing? You just... You, I mean, I don't know what, what to do. What are you I, doing? I, here's the deal. I don't have my wallet. You don't have your wallet. We got to go. Okay, we'll send them... We'll send it in the mail. Okay? We'll send them a check in the mail. Wait. Sorry, Krispy Kreme. We'll send you a check in the mail. We love you. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now it's all over me. Will this make you sing higher? <laughs> the highest you've ever sung after one of these. <laughs> so many crumbs. What? Who are some of your musical influences? From Nashville, Tennessee, and Praise and Harmony TV, it's Karaoke.